Okay, so here we are, almost through the end of the, you know, of January 2017, and I'm finally getting out this video. Welcome to hashtag TF16 of 2016. Now, traditionally, this is a video where we look, where you look at, you know, the top 16 figures that you got, you know, 16 Transformers that you got in 2016 or whatever year. Most of my, the figures that I got that year were from that year so um th there's a few odds and ends that are thrown in you know whether it be mold or you know just straight up from years before but uh why don't we take a look with some uh, honorable mentions yeah it kind of deviates against it but i've got a few that do that anyway since they're the miners so so starting off our honorable mentions after he toppled over uh, due to some joint issues we got computron um, a nice little nod to the G1 toys. We all know that the Takara one is the way to go if you want that cartoon accuracy. But he's still a great figure despite the you know, mold issues and issues people have with those molds. So, yep. Honorable mention number one. Alright, coming at, at technically number 17, we've got Blur. Um, the only reason this guy's lower is because it's the Hasbro version that I had to repaint. Really do like this guy. He was so close to making it into the top 16. I really do enjoy this figure. He is a lot of fun. Uh, great mold. You know, it also works, you know, worked well for uh, Brainstorm. So, there's that. Number 16 is the Titans Return. Nah, I love this little guy. Um, a lot of fun. I mean, he's the perfect troop builder. Let's see, like, four more of them right there. Absolutely love this little thing. So, there's number 16. Number 15, friend find, look behind. We got the Takara wheelie. Yes, he's got the GDO little slingshot there. Fun little figure. Uh, if you were to get any of the versions, the Hasbro's a good one to get, but the wheelie is just falls to the wall, G1 cartoon looking. Except for, you know, the hands, but still great little figure. Love it. Look out for the plague, because here at number 14, we've got Kickback. Uh, really am happy to have this guy. He is just great. Uh, great finale to the three main Insecticons. Do hope we get some repaints like Kick, or, you know, Ransack out of this guy, Barrage out of Bombshell, and a new mold for Venom. It's a possibility. We don't know. Number 13 on this list, and again, I am cheating, but I don't care. We got Magnaboss. Absolutely happy to have this. It is um, a combination of both official, or, you know, Mass Retail and BotCon, uh, due to Unit 3 and Tigatron. Great figures. Um, it works out for a great... Uh, homage to the Beast Wars character, you know, before the actual Beast Wars began. So, yep, number 13, Magnaboss. Coming in at number 12, we've got G2 Menasaur. Uh, I took off Black Jet because it kept falling off. This is like the fourth time I had to shoot this, so. Uh, that, that, that's the main problem I have with this guy, that and the little issue with the hips. I love this. Uh, I love the fact that we are getting this guy after, you know, not getting him, you know, the first time in 94. Uh, just beautiful paint. Very well done. Very happy to have this guy. Shout out to my buddy Mike at Autobot City Toys for hooking me up with this. Uh, prepare for a couple more, or at least one more in this. So, on to number 11. I must be turning into a major cheater or something because um, number 11 we're coming out with the Ramjet and Skywarp figures from the Transformers Collectors Club, the Incentive and the Purchase figure. Absolutely love this. I love this mold to death. Um, I'm just astonished to have these. You know, I, I've got, you know, Jaxus and Starscream and Thundercracker. So, yep, number 11, these two little guys, uh, beautiful paint, very well detailed, very happy to have these. I must be a, a big Fun Pub 
fanboy because uh, coming in at number 10, it has to be the Thunderwing Combiner. Beautiful paint, very well, you know, very nice choices on the very good mold choice uh, on all these guys. Just works very well. I love the combined mode of Thunderwing. Uh, so, and, and the way it works, you know, you got two trigger cons, you've got the two double target masters, and you got a uh, pretender in the middle of that form for a mega pretender. Hmm. And you also get the Matrix of Malice, which I've got a little string on, so there's that. Number nine, you got finally a Hasbro version of Lyle Kaiser from just amazing, very well done. Yes, there's the issue that we don't get Lyle Kai or you know, Leo Zack and Jaguar. But you can't help but love this. Hasbro put a lot of love into this. Yes, it's using those same molds, but the head sculpts are beautiful. The paint is very well done. I'm very happy with this. I, I think my favorite two figures out of this have got to be, you know, Kill Bison or Iron Bison and Guy Hawk. Just the gaudy colors, everything about this. Very happy to have this. Again, thanks to Mike, Autobot City Comics. Number nine comes at us in the form of the, again, Club blue streak uh, after the diaclone homage very beautiful paint and the stickers go a long way to help them out uh, there's some that I just will not apply because it just destroys the detail that they've added to the you know just the sculpt so I, I just put them over where there's no paint apps and you know the sculpt doesn't really get affected by it but very well done Nice on Hasbro and Fun Pub for putting this out. So you got your trio of the Dotson Brothers. Number eight, we've got the Collector's Club Impactor. Just love this guy. Our first good attempt and pretty close, you know, home run for Impactor since the unfortunate fall of Cybertron incident with the last try. So, very happy. Uh, the the Rook mold, if I can talk right, uh, works perfectly for this guy. Then the fact that they've painted, you know, one hand up correct, you know, as it should be, and left the other one unpainted to give him the fact that he doesn't have that hand anymore. Very well done, Fun Pub, even with the guy liner. Love it. You, you just gotta love it. Number six is has got to be the Titans Return Alpha Trion. Finally, we're getting a full size figure. Of this it's not a crayon, not a Botcon exclusive, not a third party item, not a non transforming figure. He's great. I mean, yeah, he's got the issues of the Triple Changer, but what Triple Changer doesn't anymore? Uh, really fun. Love the line mode. Love the spaceship mode. He's a great homage to the BotCon 2007, 2014, and the proposed, you know, 3H version. He's all you could want in an Alphatron, you know, minus the articulation issues. Um, really love this. Love the kind of Norse warrior. He, he very much strikes me as Odin. Uh, especially if you look at the concept art uh, done before the line was even announced, before they even had any inclination of doing Headmasters. Check it out. Um, I'll probably leave a link in the description so you can look at that concept art. Check it out. Number six has got to be Alpha Dryon. And just as many, 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 many people have said by now, Trigger Happy is my number five figure. He is the top of my Titans Return figures that I've gotten, besides one other that we'll take a look at in just a minute. Um, really fun figure. A lot of great engineering and design went into this. Uh, the colors are, right, you know, barring the gray plastic, but a lot of love went into this. You know, just gorgeous. And uh, Cyclonus repaint, anyone? Or retool, please, Hasbro? The car, somebody? And number four, we got the Takara LG31 Fortress Maximus. I am ecstatic with how well this figure looks. He is very much cartoon accurate. 
Uh, love the sounds in the head. Love the master sword that he comes with, and you can see the little Goshitter skin tag he has right here, just hanging out. Let me just put him right back up here. A um, lot better as far as tolerances than the Metroplex I've got. Uh, the legs, you know, obviously, don't have too many issues unless you know you start thrashing around like an idiot. Beautiful figure, very happy. Number four, Fort Max. It has to be on here. Number three is Ironhide. Love this guy. Love the paint. Love the accuracy to the cartoon. Love the fact that they took the whole van, not just you know the top half of it or the bottom half of it. They took the whole van and turned it into the robot we, for the most part, see in the cartoon. Yes, people complain about the hip flaps. Get over it. It's not really that bad. You know, just one little bit of hole is not going to kill you. Everything else looks great. Uh, the fact that it comes with a little battle sled, everything. Love this little guy. Or, little guy. Big dude. Number two just has to, has to go to Shockwave. My One of my absolute favorite Decepticons in the show. Uh, and just beautiful. I love the lavender. I love the the gray, the purplish gray. Uh, the head, you know, having the light piping. And above all, the light pipe, or, you know, the electronics in the gun, and in the gun mode. I mean, you can probably already see it through the backpack. Just everything about this, I love it. And the, and the spring that they use instead of the hose, actual hose, genius. Uh, people have complained about this figure, say he's crappy and whatnot. I, I don't care. You have your opinion, I've got mine, and I stick with the Takara all the way. Love it. Uh, I know there's a lot of good things I've heard about the Cloud Nine or yeah, Cloud Nine uh, Quake Blast. I might check that out, uh, but for right now, he's he's taking the spot. Number one is easily the Botcon 2016 Transmetal Three, I guess you could say, Megatron. It's beautiful. The chrome, the, the red, the orange, just the black, the purple, just every bit of color on this pops very nicely on any shelf you put them on. It, it's it's so regal and it fits Megatron so well. Uh, the deck is you know, extra. But anyways, just a beautiful piece. Uh, and you know the fact that it was limited so much at the convention, people have plenty of thoughts on that. But... Um, the fact that I was able to get one, and the fact that it was m actually made. We never thought this would ever happen. Uh, it was just a concept art from 3H, and they said, you know what? 20th anniversary of Beast Wars, we got this cool Megatron. He turns into like 12 different things or more. Let's do it. We got David K coming. Let's do it. Uh, just beautiful. I, I, I can't stop gushing over this. But I have to to save time on this video, so that pretty much does it. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I have. Uh, let me know some of your favorite figures from the year, uh, what you look forward to through the next year. Uh, there's some figures that were going to be on this list that I didn't get a chance to get, so they might make it on to next year, you know, the list next year. We'll just have to see what happens within the next 11 and a half months. So this has been Dalton at Dalton STFs. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube page down in the description. Check out Thu's video on this. So that being all said, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the video by Thu down in the description. Hashtag TF16 of 2016. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out his video. And check out the Autobot City Comics. Uh, they've got their show, the Not Just Another G.I. Joe show, which I think just recently changed the name to that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, be sure to check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Those also down in the description. Hope you guys had a great 2016 and look forward to see what comes out in the future. So, see you guys.